news to be a top focus. Terrorists have been utilized in Kashmir, uh, Uri, uh, while in Anantnag, the hunt for killers of our army and JNK police Braveheart continues. And this is the news that we are breaking at the top of the show. We are about to show you visuals of how drones have been used to carry out operations at the Kokarnag encounter site in Jammu and Kashmir. Security forces have been carrying out a recce of that area using drones. Uh, this is continuation of the operation against a group of terrorists. Uh, and this is the footage that we have for you. You can see how the drone is being used uh, to scout the entire area. Uh, the cameras on drones uh, are, are looking at that entire area. This is a heavily forested area, needless to say. And even uh, you know, it shows you um, how the visibility could also dip in no time because this is forest range that we're talking about. This is also mountainous terrain that we are talking about. So drones have been pressed into service. If the terrorists are uh, located by the drone cameras, then uh, the ground forces can launch an operation to nab them down, zero them in in a particular location. That's the purpose uh, for, of the these uh, drones, uh, drone cameras uh, that have been set in motion. Uh, Ishan Vani, my colleague, has uh, accessed th this detail, how terrorist hideouts are being destroyed uh, after the drone is really spotting where the hideout is. Uh, th it is also the weapons are being util utilized uh, to really eliminate uh, those, those uh, uh, you know, sites where terrorists could could be hiding. My colleague Tejinder Singh Sodhi is with me on the phone line. So Tejinder, um, now uh, you know to to tackle the heavily forested area, high tech uh, is being used. Uh, but what is the information that we have from the ground? Uh, how many terrorists do we know where they are? Uh, what is it that the gr security grid is telling you? Uh, see, Arnima, uh, the uh, one major bre breakthrough which the security forces have achieved in this anti-terror operation, which is ongoing in the Kokarnag area of uh, South Kashmir's Anantnag district, is that the terror hideout has been completely destroyed. And these exclusive visuals, uh, which uh, CNN News 18 has accessed, clearly shows uh, the hideout uh, is, as you rightly pointed out, in a thick forested area. And the hideout has long been uh, used by the terrorists. Uh, what we have been told uh, by the sources within the security establishment that this was a group of three to five terrorists who were hiding in the area though some uh, uh, some breakthrough has been achieved by the security forces but we have been told not to disclose those details as of now but uh, yes uh, the operation today has entered its four day uh, you rightly pointed out that uh, unfortunately we have lost uh, three of our brave hearts including two army officers colonel manpreet singh the commanding officer of the 19 rr and also uh, major ashish uh, the sdpo the local uh, dysp uh, himayu bhat has uh, also laid down his life while uh, defending uh, the nation against these terrorists but uh, what we have been told that this, this seems to be a group of highly trained terrorists uh, who uh, the, their identity is yet to be ascertained but some of them are believed to be trained in pakistan they are believed to be uh, pakistani uh, though so uh, the terrorist uh, the, we are told that the terrorist they they were equipped with large quantity of arms and ammunition but uh, the army uh, now if you remember on the first day uh, the, uh, the security forces suffered three casualties after that uh, the security forces are not uh, running into rushing into things because they don't want to take any further casualties hmm. they are taking the time but uh, the aim is to launch a final assault to eliminate all the hiding terrorists today the lieutenant general uh, upendra divedi who is the northern army commander the senior most army official in jammu and kashmir he's also there at the ground in kokarnag uh, he is being briefed by the ground commanders and he is also being told about the high intensity operation in which high tech equipment is being used uh, for surveillance and delivery of firepower along with high impact of uh, uh, precision fire being used by the forces yesterday the army had said that apart from drones heron drones which are uh, which were acquired from uh, israel are hmm. also being used those heroin drones are uh, be, uh, are equipped to drop uh, precision uh, ammunition on these uh, hideouts where the terrorists were hiding but yes a major breakthrough has been achieved that the uh, the hideout of the terrorists have been decimated there has been some other breakthroughs but uh, we are waiting for the official confirmation from uh, the army or the Jammu and Kashmir police on this but uh, uh, the right. sources have confirmed to CNN News 18 that this was a group of 
थ्री टू फाइव टेरिस्ट हुर हाइडिंग इन दैट एरिया आफ्टर दैट दिस ऑपरेशन वॉज लॉन्च यस अरुणिमा जस्ट रिक्वेस्ट यू टू स्टे ऑन विद अस तेजिंदर सिंह सोडी एंड निशान वानी हैज बीन टेलिंग अस दैट ड्रोन्स हैव बीन यूज्ड बट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ दीज ड्रोन्स हाउ आर दे रियली हेल्पिंग एज फार एज दिस ऑपरेशन इज कंसर्न लेट मी जस्ट ट्राई एंड ब्रेक डाउन फॉर यू एग्जैक्टली हाउ दिस इज दिस इज बीइंग डन द विजुअल दैट वी आर नाउ प्लेइंग आउट फॉर यू इज द द ड्रोन कैमरा शोइंग वेयर द हाइडआउट वाज एंड देन यू सी द गन फायर आर रियली कमिंग डायरेक्टेड एट दैट हाइडआउट सो दैट इज हाउ दिस इज हेल्पिंग दिस इज अ वेरी हेविली फॉरेस्टेड एरिया सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट एंड इट इज यू नो जस्ट इट कुड बी जस्ट वॉकिंग इनटू अ ट्रैप because the terrorist there is uh, at a height and the terrorist uh, there is really uh, in cons he know he knows the area he has some kind of a local support system and it's heavily forested visibility could be low as well so that's how this technology helps a drone camera is sent there uh, to ensure that there is specific intelligence specific uh, you know input available as to where this hideout is and then uh, there is precision firing to destroy that hideout so if the terrorist group 3 to 5 is what they that was learning if they had any plans of returning to the side out or continue to be uh, there while the operation was going on away from the eyes of our security grid then that possibility has been destroyed tejinder like we have been discussing this is not an easy terrain this is this is a different kind of a challenge for our security grid which is used to uh, more more urban kind of a warfare uh, at the most perhaps in orchards of of uh, sopor and orchards of uh, uh, south kashmir now we are looking at guerrilla warfare jungle warfare uh, so not just high tech being utilized but strategy wise also uh, the security grid is re looking rethinking about how to tackle this menace uh yes sir nima you rightly pointed out because you have been extensively covering this armed terrorism in the jammu and kashmir and you know the topography of uh, south kashmir very well you see where this operation is taking place this is a thickly forested area and this is a hill on which these terrorists have uh, made uh, this hide out now uh, the drones were being pressed into service so as to ensure that they have a visual uh, identification of the exact location where these terrorists were hiding because it would be too risky for uh, the uh, army personnel or the security personnel to walk around that area so to keep an eye as you rightly pointed out on that particular locations drones are being used and also the uh, ammunition some of the ammunition uh, to uh, explosives to destroy that uh, hideout was heron drones which were uh, procured from israel were also used to drop um, uh, the precision ammunition at that uh, very spot where this hideout was yesterday also we uh, got some visuals which clearly showed that one of the terrorist after this uh, uh, this explosive hit the uh, hideout he was seen uh, running away from that location uh, uh, today also we got these visuals where which clearly show that the hideout has been completely destroyed so the security forces are changing the strategy they are not rushing into things because they saw when uh, they got this information about the presence of the terrorist in the area hmm. they rushed to the spot uh, and in that a uh, very rush we lost three of our brave hearts including a colonel a major and a dsp of the jammu and kashmir police so after that the security forces uh, they laid the cordon and uh, you know uh, as you rightly pointed out that security forces do tackle the terrorists especially in orchards mm -hmm. in uh, the fields but uh, uh, to tackle this group of terrorists uh, which is hiding on a hill log a uh, specially trained commandos of the uh, army jungle warfare school have been rushed to that place uh the commandos who are trained in the jungle warfare and also those uh who are uh, trained at the high altitude warfare schools across uh, uh, kashmir valley they have also been rushed to the spot so as to ensure that these terrorists are eliminated people have been okay. asking me why uh, the operation is being prolonged hmm. the reason is that security forces do not want to uh, suffer more casualties hmm. and they are waiting for these terrorists to uh, to uh, their uh, their ammunition to finish Uh, also to tire them out, to... perhaps, uh, Tejinder. To tire yes. them out completely. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much, Tejinder, for for uh, that insight. 